Hey y'all, it's Bat. Uh, thanks for taking the time uh, to click on this video. I think as of right now, um, I'm going to be the first person to make a video on this thing. Um, and this is the um, Megazone 2-3 um, Ultimate Edition, uh, released by Animago. Um, this was part of the Kickstarter campaign. Um, they've done many Kickstarter campaigns in the past, uh, Writing Bean, Gunsmith Cats, um, I'm talking to a video, um, and, uh, recently, uh, they've planned a, um, a Madox 1, uh, Metal Skin Panic 1, which is pretty cool, because I love the art in that, and I would, and I'll probably try to jump to support that campaign, because I, I kind of missed this one, um, unfortunately, I, uh, I ended up buying a little bit later, um, and, uh, if I'm not mistaken, by the time I had went to go purchase this, uh, the Kickstarter was over, so I'm a little late to the punch, but I got it, it's here, I'm gonna review it, um, I'm not gonna do, like, a full review of, like, the OVA or anything, I'm just gonna show you what's in the box, um, and some of the goodies that it may have come with, um, so yeah, uh, let's start with, um, the actual packaging itself. It's um it's a fairly standard um, art box, and it actually features the art that is on the uh, the Japanese uh, Blu-ray, which is kind of rare normally. Um, but I know Animego likes to do that. Um, but yeah, this art box is fantastic. Um, it has of course um, Tokimatsuri uh, Eve, um, the OG, um, the OG Virtual Girl. Um, and yeah, it's just it's very nice on um, the spine, of course. Uh, once again, Megazone 23, along with the logo, the distributor, um, and yeah. Uh, and then there's the contents, as you can see. I'm going to shake them out in a second, but first I want to show you this. Um, this was a uh, this was like an extra seven dollars um, whenever you wanted to ship it. It's a um, I'm doing this with one hand. Uh, this right here is a embroidered patch of uh, Eve, 1985-2020. Um, it's very nice, and I might actually put this on one of my jackets because it's just—it's really cool. So yeah, uh, Animego loves uh, to do their patches, so um, and that's a rather nice one. So. Anyways, let's, there we go, um, went ahead and jump cut that, so y'all wouldn't have to see me shaking it to death, um, so yeah, uh, there's the art box, uh, nothing very special in there, but here we go, here is the premium edition itself, um, and this is the premium edition, uh, and you would know that because it comes with the art book and the art box, um, so yeah, um, we're gonna put the art book to the side. We're going to take a look at the Blu-ray itself. Um, this features um, the art that they use for the campaign, which is very beautiful original artwork. Um, this has all the extras on the back, uh, the Japanese commentary, the English commentary, um, a new number before seen documentary, uh, of course the, the different colored subtitles, which is on every Animego release. Um, and the color and line artwork galleries for the people who didn't get the premium edition. I'm having a bit of difficulty opening this. It's hard to do it with one hand. There we go. Um, so, first thing you're presented with is a sticker sheet, uh, which I've actually went ahead and used, as you can see. I put them on my computer. Uh, so, the original classic Megazone 2-3 logo. And then you have the great, nice, uh, Garland sticker as well. So yeah, I've already used those up. Um, I know normally it comes with, like, two of them, but it didn't this time. It only came with one, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, and then this, um, is the poster, which I'll get to in a second. Um, so there you go. Disc one and disc two. Uh, if you pop these out... 
you can actually, um, there's actually a reversible cover thing going on, as you can see, which is really nice. Got Shogo, um, on the garland. It's very, like, very classic art. It's, uh, it's very, very nice. I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, there you go. I haven't actually looked, um, I actually haven't popped these in yet, because I only, like, just now got the set. So, uh, I'm not sure how good the quality is, but I'm sure it's fantastic. That's how anime go. Um, Blu-rays tend to look, they tend to look really good. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, then, uh, we have the poster, of course. Um, which I'm going to jump cut and, uh, take apart for you. Very well then. Um, yeah, so, as you can see, it's the, it's the same image from the cover. It's blown up and it looks really nice. Um, I would consider, uh, hanging it up. Um, possibly. But then, uh, the real kicker is on the back. Where we have the Garland and we have Yui, um, and these are the names of all the backers. Um, and my name is actually on this. I didn't think it would be. Um, I thought they were gonna leave it out since I ordered it kind of late, um, but that was not the case. Um, <clears throat> so I was pleasantly surprised whenever I opened this uh, to find my name. But yeah, it's a very wonderful poster, and I might actually decide to put it up, like I said, because it's just it's so nice. Um, so, now that we've gone over the Blu-ray contents itself, let's quickly take a look at the liner notes and bonus manga. Um, they actually did bring back uh, the original artist of, I believe, was part one um, to do that. So, of course, you got you got your basic liner notes, as you can see, for everything. Um, and then you have the bonus manga, which... I discovered that um, if you were a um, if you were like a higher tier backer, you actually got in this. So that could be some people right there. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a nice short little thing, nothing too special. And then it ends with that, which I don't think is a real signature, but it's still pretty cool. Um, and then on the very back, you have more nice little artwork so yeah very nice little booklet there and this is the reason that i paid so much for this um this is the um the art of megazone 23 um art book uh this includes anything uh, you could ever want uh production sketches interviews the whole shebang um production art absolutely everything it's beautiful it's amazing i flipped through this thing i don't know how many times um they have a diagram showing uh, how the how the garland transforms they have um there's the cover i remember that i think they were going to originally use uh if they weren't gonna get access to the, the japanese assets but they did so they used it and there it is again um uh yeah Robots, um, wonderful art, um, asses, <laughs> nice, r extremely nice, um, backgrounds, just all kinds of great, wonderful things, and then of course you have character diagrams, like in every Animego artwork, or art book, I should say. And yeah, it just goes through every single character, and the weapons, and all the garlands, and every other mech featured. It's it's amazing. It's anything. It's everything I would want whenever it comes to a Megazone art book. Um, so yeah, very beautiful, very nice, very much worth the money. Um, which is my follow-up to this. Uh, should you get this? Well, if you can find it, um, like I said, this was a pretty much a Kickstarter-only sort of thing, so if you missed the Kickstarter, uh, 
you probably probably the only way for you to get this uh, would be secondhand, unfortunately. Um, but for fans of Megazone, I'm sure you already um, contributed to um, to the cause uh, for the Kickstarter. And uh, for those of you who did get this, um, I really hope you enjoy it. I know I'm gonna. I know I enjoy mine very much, um, and I really hope uh, that. Uh, for everyone who does um, get this, is taken back uh, to a simpler time. A very <sighs> fucked up simpler time. Because this OVA is nuts. Um, but it holds a pretty special place in a lot of anime fans' hearts, including my own. Alright, um, that's all. Uh, thanks for watching, I suppose. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to make a video about this, uh, since it's still fairly new, um, so take that as you will. Bye bye